and I'm back again, finally with a Japan Crate video. It's been since March, <laughs> but as you can see, it finally showed up. But just like Tokyo Treat, they're using DHL, which is so fast. But this is not, I mean, it, it's what I'm looking for, but it's not the box that I was expecting. Because, as you can see, this is the May box. I still haven't got my April one yet. <laughs> so we're a little ahead of the game here, and I haven't got my June one yet. So, here are the various items within the box. There are some interesting ones that I haven't had before, and some I have. Like the Banana Man. I think we just had that in the last Tokyo Treat box. And there's the other sides. I always wish I could win one of the Segoy crates. You know, that'd be cool. You know, depending on the items in them. I mean, this one's not too bad. Get a Nintendo Switch. Some, let's see. It's the Monoroll Cat Plush. <laughs> Which is actually in the box. Not the plush, but the, the, the candy. And I tend to switch light yellow, a Digivice. I guess that's like the new Digimon or something like that. Okay, let's start off with the drink before it gets warm on me. I just got it out of the fridge. We have a Kabuki looking can. It's pretty cool. Mega Pachi. This is just what I just said. Stay fueled and energized this spring with this energy drink that you can find through a bunch of drink vending machines in Japan. So if you watch only in Japan, which basically is him at home right now. I mean, he does get out, but because of the COVID situation, they're, you know, stay at home. But uh, in the old videos, you can you know, find these and other drinks in the machines has a berry scent to it. Mmm. Mm, that's nice. Very nice uh, light berry taste to it. Very good. I like that. Kind of like a, a toned down Red Bull. It's not as strong. Some people don't like Red Bull. I mean, it's okay. My favorite right now is Red Bull Peach in the yellow can, which I believe is like a fruit punch in a way. Something similar to that. But they're really good. You can get them for a lot cheaper if you go to like our lo your local Dollar General or something like that. All right, let's open the box. I did put two items in the fridge because they were, well, one I didn't have to, but the other one I did, which we'll start with. Let me open it up a little bit here. Break free of the items inside. We have the Kit Kat Matcha. This is the bonus item. This special item and Japan exclusive Kit Kat features matcha, which is green tea, and bite sized choco pieces in a resealable bag. Nothing on the back side. I tried, I was going to try today to use my cell phone my samsung galaxy 9 plus for my webcam it does work using the droid cam plus app and also downloading the software on your computer but yeah i'd have to restart the whole dang computer to uh make it do hd and i'll have to try that again later and see if it looks any better than this right here i would love to be able to make it so this is not blurred as you can see you can't even really tell the titles it looked pretty good in 640 at the start off, but uh, if it works, I'll use that next time because I have a little tripod that I can set it on and uh, probably spit it up about almost the same height as this. This is this camera is on top of my monitor, so I could probably stand it up close to there. It looked pretty even at 640 by 480, which is a terrible way to start the video. I mean, to uh, give a normal video mode i don't know why anybody would even do that today you you want to have a, a standard of at least 1280 by 720 if not 
jump it up to 1080, but 1920 by 1080. But here we go. Got a little matcha, little cubes. Mmm. Excellent. As expected. I'm in their Kit Kat. And the matcha flavor is pretty good. Has a nice crunchy bite. The sugar, it's not too high. It's noticeable because it's a Kit Kat. But it's not as strong because it's in smaller bites compared to a normal lengthwise Kit Kat. So those are good. The next one are these, and I put them in the fridge because I thought they were, you know, sort of chocolatey or something like that. But sorry, I got sniffles again. Typical living in the South situation. I mean, it would be nice if I can live in the South and have a clear nose all the time. Ain't gonna, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> This is the cinnamon roll mochi latte flavor. Bourbon, a popular candy maker in Japan, collaborated with one of Sanrio's popular characters, cinnamon roll, with these sweet mochi treats. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll? M O roll. All one word. Cinnamon roll? Cinnamon roll? Some mama roll. Either way. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> so. And inside, oh, we got two little kits. Packages here. And they're sort of squishy. Let's see. Where's the flap? does not oh well I'll just rip it inside like go <laughs> stuck to it a little stick pointy in so you can I guess stick it on there hmm, I smell like cafe mote um latte or you know coffee I'm not a, I'm not a coffee drinker so we'll see Hmm. I mean, they're okay. I think what saves it from being hmm, is the slight cinnamon flavor. You taste the sugar, which is okay. Well, I don't know if I should eat that. You probably saw a little jump in the video. I had to cut something out. As soon as I ate that, it caused me to sneeze. <laughs> So I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it was that or just environmental uh, pollen. But if I'll have to test that out. And if I, if I eat another later and it makes me sneeze again, in the trash. <laughs> I might be allergic to that <clears throat> in a way. Now we have... Now, the last Tokyo Treat box, we had some popcorn. It was just your normal Cracker Jack style. It was a caramel. But they some people got the other flavors that were available. And I think uh, one was banana. That was the one I wanted to try so bad. I'd love to try that one. And this box from Japan Crate, which is funny how they're connected in a way. And, you know, they share similar uh, items during the months. We have Lipton tea flavored. Which is actually, they consider it milk tea flavor. In the first ever collaboration between Mike Popcorn and Lipton, this popular popcorn brings a full-fledged milk tea taste with each crunchy bite. Here's the back side, nothing much there. Nice little Ziploc. <clears throat> Hmm. It smells a little like toffee. I don't know. Let me see. I want popcorn. But. Hmm. The flavoring. 
It's got a slightly sweet taste to it. Like a little tinge in the back of your tongue. Like a almost flowery in a way. Hmm. That's your base. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like it's sort of like caramel. But just a little minor flowery hit, you know, of it. Speaking of tea, tea, sweet tea. Yes, I know. I still have an energy drink, but <clears throat> I wanted some normal tea. Let's try the gummies out. I like this packaging. It's pretty cool. It's got even got a little fake straw up top. These are the boba milk tea gummies. Tapioca has been a trending flavor of Japan since summer of 2019. Hmm. So to capitalize on their popularity, they've crafted these gummies made to taste like tapioca milk tea with each bite. Okay. I've actually never eaten tapioca. My mom likes it. But... Ooh. Sort of has a fruity smell. In a way. They're just little squishy bites. Mm. One doesn't hit. I can't. Mm. They're a little bland. There's a minor, I mean, I don't say minor, sugar quality to them. But. I mean, there's kind of like a tea flavor mixed in there. You could just just barely taste it mixed with a little bit of. It's kind. Of, it's very much like sweet tea in gummy form, just not as strong. I mean, they're all, they're good. I don't. I've never had tapioca, so I can't really compare the taste of the two. It's a little. Sorry, it's a little warm in here. I had the AC on for about 20 minutes before I started recording. Already it's starting to get warm in here. Shows you how warm it is outside right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I have these little guys here. A little cup. They're called the Ram Cup because I guess those are supposed to be sheep on the front. No, I don't know. <laughs> it's not definitely not sheep. They're little cartoon characters. This mini candy cup features colorful Ramoon confectionaries. All right. Why is it called Ram Cup? Ram it down your throat. <laughs> it's just. <clears throat> yeah, they're just your normal little Ramoon tablet. Mm. Ooh, that's nice. Good little sour hit there. Let's try another one. Mm. Well, that's different. Okay, the first one I ch I slightly crunched on. If you take it and just rub it against the top of your mouth so they dissolve, it's not as strong as strong of a sour hit. Like the uh, first one was. But your basic, all the different Ramoon tablets that you get in the candies and things, they're just the same thing. And now we have. I'll wait on this one. It feels like hard candy. Like a little truck. It's cute. It'd be nice if they made these instead of paper. Make them collectible. Make them little tins. You know, like uh, years ago, I bought these little, uh, little cool little arcade cabinet cabinets cabinets, <laughs> but they're they're tin, S solid tin. But the can itself came in the the bottom of them like that. So I mean, things like that is really cool. 
especially if you're a collector of arcade stuff. So having a little tin truck would be pretty pretty awesome. But the this is called the DX Delivery Car Pack. Too cute that you may not even want to eat it. Well, you're not going to eat the package. <laughs> this delivery truck is in the style of the kind you would see while in Japan. And it's delivering su sweet strawberry ramoon candies. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's a little area in the back. And it opens up like that. So, technically, you can save the packaging if you want to. And inside, we got the little hard ramoon tablets that we've had many times before. like let me get some out here it is even doing that wasn't very strong hmm very light in flavor almost like a strawberry shortcake in flavor it's not not really strong it's nice. Got another hard candy here. <coughs> See what we got here. Which is the Great Ball Ramoon. Experience Great Ramoon goodness in this hard candy. Another one. So that's two. Sorry, hit the microphone. Three. Actually, you've had this one before, it looks like. Um, yeah, Super Chameleon. Like a chameleon whose aim is to trick and deceive. Well, not really. These hard candies do just the same with your taste buds. Starting as a cola candy, as it dissolves, the flavor and color change to reveal a different one. Which new flavors do you taste? Yeah, we've had these before. They're pretty good. Nothing. Okay, oh, another favorite of mine, although I wish we'd get two instead of just one, since they're so small. The amount we're paying for the box, we deserve two. <laughs> Especially with the slight price increase because of the COVID and using DHL. Fruit Donut Gummy. The delicious fruity gummy in the shape of a donut. Technically, we have these in the States, and they're normally sold in a big bag with a bunch of them. But, uh, actually, I think I've seen them at my local gas station, <laughs> that hanging below the counter. But they're the ones I normally see are orange, so I'll have to try them out. It doesn't really have a scent. But the flavor is quite good. As you saw, it had sugar all on the outside. Sugar itself isn't very strong, so it's a nice balanced mix. Taste-wise, it is fruity. I can't really place the, the taste itself. The flavor, sorry. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to consciously not repeat myself. I've seen that a lot, way too much lately. It's like every video I watch, people get into a dialogue loop or a brain fart in a way, because they'll say something and then repeat it. And then again, you know, so it's like, why are you doing that? You just said it. Move on to something else or use a different word instead of, like, take for instance one of my favorite channels, Minty. Uh, Minty Comedic Arts. He does these great monthly or uh, bi monthly, sometimes you put up two videos a month uh, on 10 or 5, 10 things you didn't know about a certain movie. And you can see them all if you go to my, on my YouTube channel, all the videos I've seen. And uh, he's really good. He's a great editor, I'll tell you that. 
uh, being able to cut through the movies and put all these things together like they, he does. I wish I was that good. It'd take a long. It'd take me a while to be able to do that. Um, but he has a tendency to repeat the same things. Like he'll say movie, 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 and he does say movie, film, flick, something like that. You know, it just doesn't come up with a different term. Uh, don't say the same, especially if you're going to say something and then repeat it immediately after in um, uh, like a phrase of, of words, a connection of words. I mean, it's, it's, it starts getting annoying after a while. Anyway. Now, this is one of my favorites, and it is called Banana Man. You've seen it before, many times before. Many times, I said before. The confection looks like a miniature banana and is filled with sweet chocolate and marshmallow green. I prefer the little hard banana chocolates, but if you want marshmallow, this is the best. And, as you can see, it looks like a big lump of yellow. <laughs> but, wait. Oh, that's right. This one doesn't really have the scent. But, taste-wise, it's quite good. Mm. Probably, not, but probably not, it just in your mouth, <laughs> in your teeth. It's a little sticky. It's not. I like it. They're quite delectable, but the little hard. Chocolate bananas. I got chocolate on the inside, and they look like a banana on the outside with a, a, a yellow coating. They smell and taste fantastic. I just wish I could get them for cheap. I mean, you, you can go to the websites I have down in my description. I don't know if you, those of you are watching, ever click show more down below. Uh, but you got to remember that. And if you want to see the full description, where you can get the shirts I wear, like this great Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, and also the stores, the, the various Japanese candy and item and whatever stores, they're all down in the description. So. Hmm. Very innocuous label. I mean, it doesn't really stand out as something on the shelf. You go, hmm, I don't know, do I want to try that? Nah. This is Kajiricho Melon Bread and Melon Soda Soft Candy. A chewy candy stick that mimics the taste of melon pan and the soda of the same flavor in each bite. Okay. So melon bread and soda. Okay. Hmm, it does smell like honeydew. That's very, very interesting. has a granular quality to it. It's like the sugar crystals inside. They're not power, they're not all over the place, but you can you can hear them on your teeth. It has there's a little bit of sour. Just a tiny bit. The sugar's not very strong. All in all sorry I gotta wipe. I mean, it's not scorching hot in here, but it is, you know, starting to show on my face. It's not totally unpleasant. Uh, Taste-wise, it's like eating a stick of honeydew, which is intriguing. <laughs> That's good. Nice flavor. You have a do-it-yourself tip. Which I'm not really partial to, unless there are something you just eat. But, like these, right? These don't really grab me all that much. This is the Petite Jelly Shake. Shake up a fun treat featuring both grape flavored jellies and a muscat soda flavored foam. See, uh, that right there takes me out. Foam. I've tried the foam do it yourself kits in the past, and it's like, eh, no thanks. 
But inside, you have a two trays. Got the powder of that one, which is muscat, I assume. Well, what was that one again? Grape flavored. Well, that's yeah, that's probably muscat. And then you got the grape flavored one, which is purple. And then you have this clear one, which I'm not sure about. Got a straw and a little water squeezer, and you put them together in that. I might try it later. I'm not really all that partial to things like that. Got another little small sucker. What is this? I've seen it before. It looks familiar. Green tongue gum. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, yeah. Okay, we haven't had this one. The last one that was in the box was from Halloween, and it was the one that makes your tongue red. So this one, it feels like a pillow, the normal. Yeah. Ooh, got a nice Ramoon flavor to it. Hmm. And last are two big bags. I better get my clippy clips out. My clip clip. My alligators. My alligators. There's another variation. <laughs> this is a different ver form of the Tohato Caramel Corn, which has the Kiramitsu Kanako flavor, uh, which is brown sugar syrup and soy powder together. Okay. The back side, nothing really much to see. Hmm. Okay. Kind of has a coffee smell to it. I'm not really partial to that. And of course, you got your little shrimp, sh shrimp shapes. Try to say that one three times fast. And shrimp shapes, sh shrimp, shrimp, shrimp shape, shrimp shapes. <laughs> hmm. Not bad. Smells a little off putting, but how's a Um, it's still got the slight caramel quality to it, the taste. The sugar itself is low, which is good. So it's not too bad. Has a, the brown sugar is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Usually, I'm not a big, I like brown sugar, but I don't eat it all the time. I mean, it's, it's just, I can't even remember the last thing I had. Usually, if, if I have hot cereal, oh, that's the only time I eat brown sugar is on top of that. Well, there's also the cookies, you know, the brown sugar type cookies that you can buy. The soft ones, not, I don't care for the hard ones. Cookies should always be soft, in my opinion. You want them to be like a, soft as a cake. If they're hard and, and they just shatter when you eat them, what's the point? It's, it's, it's not tasty that way. Now we have corn. This is Don Taco's Grilled Corn. <laughs> Experience sweet and savory corn on the cob with a twist in every bite with these chips. Each corn chip has a balance of flavors from the corn, butter, and soyoy, so soyu, soyu, sorry, not soyoy, uh, seasoning, very tasty. There's the back side. This is a little bit more colorful than the rest of the time. I like that. It, it is quite catchy. If you set it on the shelf, you go, hmm, I like that. I want to try it. It looks sort of like normal Doritos. It has a buttery smell to it. See, they're like a non-flavored Dorito in a way. Mm. Wow. Okay, that's my favorite in the back in the box so far. Nice 
uh, medium salt hit. Bigger. Was only partial. The corn flavor is really nice. I'm considering that they're made from corn, but there's a butter, a butter flavor to it. But the That, that was really tasty. Really nice mix between the, that grilled corn flavoring, which actually I've, I've never had grilled corn. I, I mean, I don't technically eat corn on the cob because I, I just dislike having it lodged in my teeth when I'm eating it. I gotta get in there and pick it all out. I eat cream corn. Uh, but I've, in the past that I've had, Grilled corn is really tasty, and this tastes just exactly like it with butter on top. So that's a hit. I like that. If they, they should put, they should have something like this in Mexican restaurants instead of just the the plain uh, chips they put in the bowl, like in our local big city of Augusta. We have salsa grill, the best Mexican. Oh, well, Spanish in a way. Restaurant around up there, in my opinion, because they're really good, especially their guacamole. But they always put two different types of chips on it. Well, one bowl of chips and two different types of salsas. One's hot, one's mild. Well, sp neither are really hot, but one's spicy. But they change out the chips that are just your normal plain ones you can buy in the store if you wanted to. With those, that would be a hit right off the bat. So, that concludes, oh, well, not really, I did have these here, those little pills, which, did I read that off? Wait a minute, wait a minute, no, I didn't read those. These are the, oh yeah, the great, great remove, yeah. So, just have a colorful little package back there. So we'll try one of those. Oh! I just looked down, I did miss something. So hold on a second. Make sure I didn't put anything. I put these to the side because I'm going to do them almost last. Got these little peachies. Peach gummies. How could I avoid them? They're gummies. These gumdrops, gumdrop shaped gummies are the perfect to go snack. Well, of course, they're in a package to go. <laughs> they have a nice peach scent to them. But not as good as some of the other ones I smell. Little squishy guys. Mm. Gotta have an old one. Get a proper flavor. Scent. They're good. They have a nice peach flavor to them. The sugar's not too strong. Though... The uh, flavoring itself could be stronger. We've had white peach gummies before in the past, and they were much better. They they had a, a more natural taste to them, where these are a little bit of artificial, not much. Then you got little hard candies here. Which are basically your god stopper. I was hoping to be able to uh, crunch it, but no, they're salt. They're solid all the way through. Taste-wise, they're very mild in sugar. That's basically all you taste. I don't have a. I mean, they're a little bit sweet, but it's not much other than that. Now, let's see, did I cut it off? Let me show you. Hold on. Let me get a proper bag. I had to cut it in here. <clears throat> Recently, I came across these in Walmart. Whoa, world. They only had two, and I haven't seen them since. 
So I had to get them off Amazon. And I highly recommend them. Got these off the eaten path snacks for the curious. I love the name. Veggie crisps, rice, peas, black beans. Um, with real vegetables. And there. Let me see here. Hungry for adventure? Try veggie chips, delicious, different from chips. Deliciously, we got peas and black beans. The, uh, I don't really tell you everything. It's got green peas, dried yellow ones, black, as black beans, sea salt, of course, and sunflower oil, and rice. They're made out of Rare Foods Incorporated in New York. And these are awesome. I saw it hanging on one of the little aisle shelves in Walmart. And there were two of them. Actually, I got both of them at the same time. But it's like, ooh, that looks interesting. I'm going to try them. They're, not, they're now my favorite favorite chip. Very good. Uh, very. Uh, their salt content is not extraordinarily strong. And they're just right. But the flavor itself with all the beans and the rice mixed together... Check them out. I think you all agree they're excellent and they're healthy, so even better. <laughs> and you've noticed my two new collectible items. Got the Ecto One for my car collection, which is not big, and the doors, the hood, and the trunk door back there open up. And I got this from Wish. That's that's pretty cool. On your phone, if you install the Wish app, which I highly recommend, they always they always got something interesting in there. And so I've always wanted a good Ecto One. It's it's diecast. See there the back side. Right? It's I think one one twenty three or something like that. The scale. I forgot. I'm surprised it actually doesn't show it on here. Cadillac. Oh, I guess that was a Cadillac. Interesting. Uh, normally, they, they show you down here the scale. I think it was 123 or 124 or something like that. And this bugger, which I did not expect to be so big, was just recently, surprisingly, put out at Walmart. Uh, my local one didn't have it. And the only one that did, and I wasn't going to go 40 miles out of my way for one, was way up in uh, a nearby city outside of Augusta. I said, no. So I just, I got one off, off online. But surprisingly, they sold, they're, they, there are Walmarts you can find these, and they're 20 bucks. Although I spent just a little bit more, not much. And they walk, Robbie walks, if you flip the switch in the back, but they have a... There's also a sparking sound like in the movie, you know, you got all the sparks going around his head, but I think it only plays when he's walking or something like that. Uh, but that's pretty cool. I've always, I had the original Trend Masters version, which is half the size. It's like, mm, probably comes up to about here on him, somewhere in the house. I don't know what happened. He stopped operating for some reason, so he's basically just a statue. I'd like to get a new one, but they're a little too expensive now. I mean... If you go on eBay and look for Trend Masters, Robbie the Robot, you'll see they're from 60 and up. It's like, nope, I'll pass. But this thing's big. And at the same time, they also put out Iron Giant in the same, same size, which is a little crazy because Iron Giant should be a lot taller. It should be like, if you want to scale-wise, it'd be like way up here. But it's not as good, in my opinion. Robbie's always been a favorite because Forbidden Planet is one of my all-time... This is an all-time awesome film. I put Yoda in this place. I meant to put him right there. It's one of Leslie Nielsen's classics before he got into comedy. And I highly recommend If you've never seen Forbidden Planet, it's a must. I mean, it, it's it set the bar 
really for sci-fi films that come after it. I mean, there's so many films that take from that film, that movie, in, in, in different ways. Sound effects, robot design, uh, special effects of matte painting in using practical effects and light, uh, right, uh, drawing on the cells, you know, for uh, laser blasts and things like that. I mean, it's not a, it's not an action-packed film, so don't expect that. But it's very creepy at times. The soundtrack itself is not music. It's more an experimental form of sound effects that was revolutionary at the time because nobody had done it before. And it, it, it leaves a lasting impression in your head. Now, you'd even freak my mom out when she was young. I can understand why, because when you get into the underground levels of the planet itself, which is kind of like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, that the planet was manufactured, the sound, the musical sound effect quality to the score uh, is quite eerie, but cool at the same time. As you can, you heard a little bit of it there on Robbie when I played it. So check it out; you'll like it. It's a great film if you haven't seen it. It is, it's a must for all sci-fi fans. All right. Before I start dripping sweat, I need to cut this film out and shut it off. So I'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.